Oregon is known for being wet and muddy and uh, the birds are finicky and we run an, everything just a little bit different than most people. Most of our stuff here in the, in the valley is targeting the cacklers. I love the rain. I love getting really wet. I love having muddy hands. Your trailer smells like mold. I love everything about it. Um, that's why I moved from west side to the east side of Washington. Uh, showed up a little late. Late to the party as usual, like we like to like to do uh, around midnight. Really jacked about the opportunity to come down and shoot these birds. Flavor blasted goldfish. I love hunting cacklers. We shoot them over in eastern Washington, um, but it's not the same style of hunting. Our spreads are different, our calling's different, um, so it's just kind of a different challenge for, for us. It's really sharp. It's very much so a research trip for Trevor and myself. We spent a lot of time trying to come up with concepts and ideas you know, for our cackler call and get the opinions of guys that hunt these birds. It really is very helpful to develop that kind of product. I'll just, let me get in and mess with it and look at my stuff. If the wind swirls again, I don't want to. If they I don't do, wanna... if they do that again, oh, get yep, in, get in. yep, 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 and they're low. They're coming in low. They're real low, guys. Kill them, guys. Uh, the first day was great. Got into the spot that we had seen birds the night before. We had put them to bed and, and kind of figured they would be back there first thing in the morning. The setup was tough. The wind shifted on us and didn't do exactly what the weatherman predicted, but that's mother nature sometimes. And we fought through it. Still, we're able to scratch out our birds, so it worked out pretty good.
We're about to go do a scouting. Daddy Patrick's coming. Where is Patrick? Kissing his old lady goodbye. It's, it's been two seconds, Patrick. <laughs> I love having my son with me. I would rather have him with me than anybody. Right before the train tracks, Daddy. He's a great kid, and he's going to have a long future of chasing waterfowl. Here you go, Daddy. He loves going out and scouting with me. He puts more miles on with me than anybody does. Daddy, it's him. How do you know they're going to be in that field in the morning? Because I'm a super genius. You got to knock the door and, you know, you never want to be aggressive. How do you know somebody's home? You're trying to get permission from somebody. Watching Shane work, it's kind of like you get a little adrenaline rush. Because you're just like, oh man, if this could happen. Oh God, please. Let's go stack some geese. Yeah, baby! They want in this field bad. Somebody take my green gloves from up here. Thought I threw them. Oh, never mind. They're in my pocket. We're good. Pretty good. That's what I don't really want to do. We got a huge mass coming. Yeah. Sounds like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, I didn't really want them to all come at once, but. Uh, when they all come off the refuge at once, I mean, it's just a line across the sky. Super, super loud, super chaotic. The birds are making a tornado. It's cool. That's pretty good right now. We'll see what's going on out front. Holy shit. We just don't see that, um, you know, on the east side of the state. It's kind of disheartening to me when I see them all come at one time. As much as I love to watch that, as from the hunting standpoint, it's not the greatest. Uh, I would rather them come in at small groups and be able to work them a little bit easier. It still makes for a pretty amazing show. The bird's coming in roughly 12 minutes before actual legal shooting light, and the reason obviously is, is so that you can identify duskies between cacklers, taverners, lessers, and make sure that you're picking out proper birds. But with sun shining and blue skies, everything you know flew earlier, and they were in super, super quick, super fast, and all of them coming at once was a big inhibitor. What are we gonna do? We're we gonna shoot into this and be melee, dude. And then we might not see another bird. <laughs> They're not gonna come here and, unless we split them up a little bit and maybe let them come back or something. Okay. Bella, fetch those birds. Fetch them up. Fetch them up. Get them, Bella. Get them. <laughs> Got a couple. Eight more. Yeah. <laughs> Good grinding, guys.
I just, I looked over and I noticed that uh, Jurgis had a, this wad sitting on his shoulder. It's definitely, there was a lot of poop that landed on his shoulder. Um, why? Because we had thousands of birds working us, so it was perfect. This is cackler hunting. We have our, our great days and we have our not so great days. And to see sites like this is what makes it all worth it. This one was one for the book. Shane did a great job of putting us on the birds, putting us up where we needed to go. And uh, he's just a good overall guy and we're very excited to have him on our team and look forward to doing this again. Yeah.